Hi, my name is Sayla and I'm a recent graduate from the, my Master's in Civil Engineering and a Bachelor's in Environmental Geoscience from the University of Toronto in the land of maple syrup, Canada. So interestingly enough, I heard about the Geo Intern program from a Facebook post and why I was encouraged to apply was from my favorite professor, Dr. Mandy Mariano, who told me to take every opportunity that life throws at me. I applied to be a Geo Tenerife Scholar because I love the outdoors I love geology and this was a perfect opportunity for me to combine both of them and also apply what I learned in school. On behalf of Involcan and Geo Tenerife, I am currently conducting a geochemical survey in the beautiful island of La Palma. The purpose of our research is geothermal exploration, which in other words, we're trying to see whether the interplay of volcanism and plate tectonics can produce enough energy for us to harness and power this island. During the month here, a typical workday consists of us collecting various soil, gas, and water samples along the flanks of Cumbre Vieja, which is one of the biggest volcanoes in La Palma. The soil, gas, and water samples are analyzed in the lab to see whether or not they're from a, vol uh, a volcanic origin or from an organic matter origin. And that will take us one step closer to discover a new renewable energy resource in the Canary Archipelago. Two specific ga gases that we're interested in here in La Palma are radon and carbon dioxide. To measure carbon dioxide, we take a shallow sample and we also measure the carbon dioxide flux that is emanating from the ground. And this, will, and this is later analyzed in gas chromatography to see whether or not this is from a volcanic origin or if it's from organic matter decay. Radon is also another example um, where an increase in radon emissions from the surface can lead to possibly an increase in volcanic activity. Every evening after work, one of the main things that I have to do is explore the town of Fuencaliente, which is Spanish for hot fountain, quite fitting that it's located on the slopes of an old volcano. And some of the best things that I've discovered are not just the people, the dogs, or the trees, but also just watching the sunset over the Atlantic Ocean. And that is one of the most mesmerizing things I've ever seen, and I don't think I'll ever get accustomed to it. Every weekend, I've had the pleasure um, of doing various extracurricular activities organized by Involcan and Geo Tenerife. Um, we've done everything from caving in lava tubes to sea excursions with bottlenose dolphins and whales. And one of my personal favorites is stargazing above the clouds beside the world's biggest telescope. And another experience, and this is much more personal, is to take advantage when you're in the non-native country to try and use the native language there and try to avoid and put aside English. Um, you're never going to get an experience like this to learn Spanish so personal, so intimate and, um, and it's, it's a great opportunity. I would recommend this program to all young scientists but in particular recent graduates such as myself. One of the biggest advice I can give to future geo interns and scholars is um, when you're at that milestone of finishing your graduate studies, don't commit to something big such as a PhD or a full-time job. Instead, dip your feet into temporary positions. And what better place for a young geologist to discover himself than on a volcanic rock in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean?